Welcome to the Unfiltered Gamer playthrough tonight on Halloween or All Hallows Eve. We are going to be playing The Night Cage by Smirk and Dagger. I'm Callie, and here tonight with me is Josh. Just Josh right here. Yeah, and outside the frame is Max, and of course, Michael Spooky as Mike. well. <laughs> Spooky. We had a little bit of a graveyard theme this year, so. Uh, had a lot of fun with that. So I've got skeleton and necromancer there. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, before we get started playing night, uh, the night cage, I just wanted to share the final prototype copy of Moonshell that came in with drop shipped to us this week. And Moonshell, all of the backer copies are on the boat from Ooh. China to the U.S. right now. Yay! So as you guys know, there's been a lot of um, challenges with shipping so we're just we just gotta hope for the best at this point and hopefully it gets out on time on the timeline that we wanted uh we added some wiggle room but you know there's things happen and who knows shipping is uh just it's just uh unknown right now but uh we got it's kind of cool because some of the things we don't get to see um we hadn't really got to show off before like the final bag so let's Ooh. see if what the final bag oh, looks that like that nice and of course the good quality too the mer mermaids are pretty fun and nice really thick nice yeah it's all the cardboard are really nice and thick and it's holding up well so far which is really good that's what we wanted and the rule book too so you didn't yeah. get to see the rule book before um all fancy. Yeah, nice it's art. a real rule book. No. Yeah, I was taking a look through it yesterday. <laughs> it is I edit rule books for other people, so I had to make sure my rule book was really good. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and you did an amazing job with it. Thank you. As thank did you. Michael. Yeah. All right. I edited. <laughs> <laughs> Enough moonshell. We are going to get into the Night Cage, which is an escape game. Oh, you're looking for your name oh, yeah. in the back? <laughs> 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 yep. I was going to look through it yesterday, yes. but I was like, oh, I can wait. Oh, I'm, I'm patient. Max in there. Oh. No, Ooh. we did. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> All right. The Night Cage. Um, it's a cooperative game for one to five players, and we are trying to escape this labyrinth that has some, some mystical, magical powers. So... We'll each have a candle, which is represented by our little token, which will be on the field. And um, you can only see into as far as one space away in the passages that you can view. Everything else will be dark to you. And as you move away, things will disappear. Mm -hmm. So when, even if you go back the same passageway, it changes. it changes. And these tiles that we'll be revealing to create the board are our timer essentially for the game. The objective of the game is for each of us to obtain a key from one of the key tiles and the all escape onto a gate, one of the four gates that are available. Um, and that's the only tile in the game that we can, more than one person can be on. Okay. So <laughs> in addition, there's some other elements such as crumbling tiles, so tiles that on the move after you've been on it, it's going to crumble away into nothingness, as well as there are some wax eaters. So like candle wax is our resource in the game. The wax eaters are it's going really to sad. try to, yeah, defeat us as well. So they'll essentially be, if they hit us, be removing tiles from the game. In addition, yeah, if you fall into the pit, you're falling into darkness and you'll land who knows where and yeah. more tiles will come out. <laughs> Which means you're also burning time. Yes, exactly. That's, so that's a very brief overview of the game. And we'll get into it and play. All right, we just played our first game of the Night Cage. And if you want to see kind of how to play as we, as we learn the rules, then you'll be able to skip forward in the video. We'll have the timestamps down in the description below. You can go ahead and check that out and see what happens there. And now we're going to do a quicker playthrough of the game. And so I hope uh, that we'll be able to escape the night cage. Cal, yeah, I think you're up first. All right, I'm taking my starting tile, placing it on the board with my candle character here. And I'm going to need to illuminate this one first. 
Thank you. I'm going to choose, let's go this way. And one more, please. And let's go over here. And whenever you place your tile down, you always take one tile at a time and place them on each adjacent space that is open, illuminating all spaces adjacent to you that you possibly can. And then you're done. I am going to go right here in this corner. Thank you. And a crumbling straight. We're going to want to try and get as close as we can to each other, sort of, uh, to allow us to try and illuminate the previous tiles that others have laid down. So sometimes it's not a bad idea uh, to adjacently place tiles. Because when this tile deck runs out here, basically we're on our last leg of our journey, and it's going to be a dangerous trek to get to the exit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and place my character here like that. And I've already got spaces illuminated by Callie's previous play, thus I'm not wasting any tiles. We're trying to get four keys, one for each of us, and then escape by getting to one of the four exit gates together. Uh, it's going to be a challenge, though. So you're, while key. you're also not revealing tiles that keep, keep us through the game, you're also not revealing the tiles we need, such as keys. Yeah. So it's kind of a trade-off. Mm -hmm. Because the more you burn, mm -hmm. the closer you are to endgame. That's the part of the strategy here. Okay, but I like the idea, though, is yeah. that when you're not playing tiles, you have the opportunity to get closer to each other as mm -hmm. well. So that when you do illuminate, you'll be able to select tiles that either player or multiple players can get to. Placing a character over here at the beginning of the game might be a little bit more challenging because nobody else will be able to illuminate tiles. So if you have three keys here and you have to move, you're going to lose two of them. Whereas placing it closer might actually benefit you. Okay, well, you have to move. No, nope. go ahead, Josh. I'm oh, done. Your okay. I can't move. On your turn, oh, you just place, you place okay. and you eliminate. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of A, a little bit of B. I'm going to use one of the tiles you all are eliminating. And a marker. And I'm going to reveal one new one. A four-way. Now, I've placed my tile marker here and my little character marker. I eliminated one new tile, so I'm not entirely burning the deck, but I'm not rushing through tiles to find what we need either so i'm playing cautiously which is weird because that's not my nice they're not my style <laughs> and i'm done okay i have i can move here or here i think i'll move this way so this is going to crumble in crumbling tiles you'll notice have little crumbly like slants on them you can see there's like the rocks are not exactly well shaped whereas this one here does not crumble and whenever you walk on a tile that crumbles basically, or walk away from one, it will get removed. Or if you stay on one for more than one turn. You fall into the pit. Ooh, okay, Max, your turn. All right. I am going to move there. I'm going to be losing this tile and this tile. And I need two tiles, kind of, sir. Okay. My only choice is to move up because I can't move in the same space as another player. But this crumbles, still protecting the tiles as best I can, but still also revealing tiles like a monster. Ooh. Less ideal. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, you that's screwed it. me. Yeah, I have to. I'm going to move down because I don't want to crumble and fall into the pit. Uh, the monster will activate. He hits me. I will. How much? How much do you lose for crumbling into a pit? Hmm? Oh, uh, when you crumble, if you chose to stay here, mm -hmm. then um, you will fall into the pit and you will be moved somewhere else on the board. Might not oh, be. As, might not be so bad then. I am not sure if you can do that on a start tile. If you can stay on a start tile, though, one second. Yes, you can fall through a pit on your first turn. Uh, then yeah, I'm going to do that. And also, you're going to gain a nerve, too, for not moving. Yeah. Nerve is useful because it allows you Discarding to utilize, uh, utilize abilities, like moving again, blocking, charging, and sustaining. I discarded a gate. Yeah, that's okay. There's four of them. We don't want to lose all four, though. Yeah. Okay. And now, because you didn't move, that tile explodes. Yep. Mm -hmm. I fall. Yeah. And he's going to fall where, exactly? Okay. Hmm. What's going to happen, Josh, is right now you are free-falling through... Nothing the darkness, is. so there's nothing. And on your next turn, you'll be able to choose an empty spot. 
Uh, land there and then illuminate the space around you. Anywhere? Yes. Okay. And this is going to go now. Mm-hmm. So I kind of start over. Your turn, Callie. Okay. Hmm. I am in the void. Uh, you might want to move away from the monster. So I, it only it'll hit one of us. you. Yeah, yeah, it's going to hit one of us no matter what. Yes, okay. So you might as well. I'll move this way. Okay. Monster, will monster attacks. I'll go ahead and spin my nerve. And Lock it. we'll lose two tiles here. Oh, there goes a key. Ooh, All right, okay. illuminate up. All right. This monster is also going to go because it was utilized. Mm-hmm. Whenever they attack, they go away. Oh, and Addition- tiles trigger for you. Additionally, because the tiles are removed from the sides of me, I have to illuminate them one at a time. This Woo-hoo. one will go Key. here. Good times. And this one will go here. All right. Now it's Max's turn. All right. Considering what I've got, I'm going to move right there. These both crumble. You get a tile for either one of the sides here. And then another tile. Oh. Either where I place this is not going to be good. Not necessarily. Depends. No, to block it, make a wall. Yep, there you go. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Now the monster can't see me, yeah. so we're not going to take additional damage. I will only take the damage. Yep. Not necessarily. You can move off this line. This is true. I'll go ahead and move over here. Grab a key. This is going to go away. I'll get a key. So now we've got one of four keys that we need. And I'm going to illuminate one space, which will be. This one here. Okay. Now on my turn, I choose any blank space? Yep. Yes. Can I go like right here or does it have to be completely empty around it? Oh, um, this guy. I'm sorry, this guy is supposed to be like here, here, here. Oh, from and the then edge. you choose a, a one that's along that column. When you fall. Yes, yes. Oh, so that's okay. where you're kind of falling. Okay. And so, now you draw a tie. You'll choose a square, draw a tile, and place it. I'm going to go right there. And yeah, actually I like that. I will illuminate a single tile. A gate. Alright. And you're up, Kelly. That's not bad opening find, actually, because I can go back and forth on that and keep revealing tiles around it. I don't want to go toward the monster. Probably come back. So I'll go here. And then that'll all go away. Okay. And you get one tile for either side, and then one more afterward. A key. Ooh. Perfect. I will move down. Monster goes poof. Monster goes poof. Which is quite nice. And I need one tile, please. Okay. Um, and I also have to ignite a re- um, light this area. Reactivate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's um, less ideal. Well, he can move off, but you're good. And I'm going to move my character here. He triggers. There's it's nothing. no one. This Key goes go. away. This will go. Well, the key's already going to go anyway. anyway yeah, yeah. Because I already got it. I mean, just crumbling, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I'll choose this. Oh, I can flip over. Oh, it's a monster. Oh, oh that's going to suck. Well, I, I can guess, block at least. I guess we'll... Ooh. That's not ideal. I'll put this here. Okay. Because you can choose to not yeah, walk we'll, here. I'm gonna she to can gate. choose to go here. Yeah, I'll go to the gate. So only one person will get hit. And fingers and crossed, there's not another monster. One more. Good. Cool. I'm done. Okay. And I'm going to go here, triggering no monsters, but hopefully finding some keys for everybody. And one over here. Good. One, um, okay. And one, whatever. Okay. Excellent. Cool. Up. All right. Go ahead and move into your key spot. Yeah, I'm sorry, the monster's gonna hit you. It's gonna hit it's us. Only one hit. So. One, two, three. 
We lost a monster. Okay, good. That's, a That's good pretty one. good. And now it's gone away. And this is gone. Yep. And, and so is the OT, yeah. This one too, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. And I'll get the key. And you're also going to open up two spaces. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Put this one over here, yeah. Oh, yeah. and another and, one. Okay. Six one, half a dozen of another. All right, you're up, Max. All right, I'm going to move there. This is going to go. Yep. And I need Oof. one tile for illumination. Hey, hey. And I found a key. Cool beans. Hmm. There we go. And oh, this this opened up for me as well. Yep. Oh, also, now I got hit by a monster. I'm in the dark. Oh, yeah. oh that's right. Yeah. Which means so I actually goes don't away. illuminate this anymore. Whenever you get hit by a monster, you're going to flip over yourself from your turn to uh, lights out. Which means that any space that would be illuminated next to you is no longer illuminated. And if you were to walk into a space, you have to walk in blind. So right now I can only choose to move into one space. Now luckily Josh is illuminating these three and this one here. And then you have Callie illuminating these three and this one over here. And then Max has these two. I need to find somebody who has a light marker and I need to get adjacent to them. So the main move I think I could make is yep. to move here. When I do that, I'm adjacent to Josh and he has a lit candle. So go. I'm gonna go ahead and light my candle again and thusly triggering a reveal. Okay. And I am my turn. Okay, I'm going to move here to maintain this so Max can continue through and come back right, to us so for gate. the tiles that are um, This is going to go. One. And this one over here. Yep. And give it to Max. And you're going to illuminate two, one space. One, yeah. Oh, because you're next to a key now, too. Mm -hmm. well, it's just a T. Or I would even maybe suggest to let Josh have this one. No, I can keep revealing. Just go back to here and then reveal more. We're good. Because he needs to come over here anyway, so he might as well just do that to come to the gate. Okay. Okay, I am going to move toward the gate, I think. Okay, so that's this going to go. And that one too. And so will this one. Mm hmm. And we're going to reveal a tile for you. Fingers crossed. Mm. Might as well. At yeah, least it's one. not a monster, though. Put, I don't it, put it going this way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, I see your thought, though. Monster. Okay. There's a key. Okay. Ooh, that would have been good. No. Um, right there, probably. Yeah. Either way, I'm going to have to move two to get to it, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And then one more. One more. Last one goes. Because at that point. All right, here we go. Yeah, Mike and Callie, you have keys. Max, you're about to get one, and there's the key for me, so good to yeah. go. I will move onto the key. Oh, I will have to go longer to get there. That's okay. Oh, that's true. Actually, maybe you want to switch it. <laughs> maybe you'd rather have it like this, Callie. Yeah. So that way Josh can get, get to get this one a little easier. easier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you can still go this way. Oh, because this isn't connected. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So I've moved to the key. So I need two tile spaces. Cool. And a monster. And a monster. Okay. And did you collect a key yet? I did not. I was about to ask for my key. Yeah. I don't think you care if the monster even did hit you because you can, you're already technically adjacent to me. So. All right. Is it my turn? It is your turn. Now, is there any reason why I need to move? I don't feel like there is. Just to get to the gate. The I... monster is going to trigger. Oh, he's going to hit me, huh? There's not. Okay. So, oh, so move so to me. I will move. Oh, oh I was going to say move to me, and I'll light you immediately. Or move over there. Um, I'm going to go here. Because I'm still, you're still protecting that. Yeah. And the monster, and the will monster hit is Max. going to just hit Max, and he yeah. has a nerve. I will use my nerve to reduce the damage to two. We're going to lose cool. two not use silver piles. I think we got this. And because you got hit, you are lights out. Yes. This monster will leave. And so will the other two tiles. And this one will leave, and this one will leave as well. Um, but then now he is, he, I'm going to check. He to is see. adjacent to me, though. He's fine. Oh, so oh, he oh. becomes. I would instantly relit? become relit. Yes, and I don't know the triggering for whether or not because he did lose lights. He did hit lights out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like then he lights again. Huh, I don't know. I'm not sure either. But I do know that this tile is going to leave. Oh yeah, nobody's around that. So I'm not around that anymore. But Josh has got these two in this one, and I've got these three, and Callie has these two. Yeah, I would 
if I had to put a, for you know, a real looking towards it, when you hit lights out, then you'd get relit, so there wouldn't be a but, momentary But you, blackness. generally speaking, yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I would assume. Yes. You you would, I think you would probably lose the tiles, and then if you after you get relit, you probably put them back. Yeah, yeah. I think that would how that would trigger. So you get a monster in one of the spaces, which. Eh. How would you put it there? Then it connects to Cali. No, because yeah. there's no tile here. It goes around. It goes around. Oh. We'll put it here. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't put it there either. Oh, what's put the option? There. Well, okay. oh. That's the worst that's, spot. That hits me. It hits two of you. Mm. Yeah, that's that one that only one hits one, one person. Bad. Yeah, this one? And actually, he can move off by going around and have it dodge. So. And then you uh, have this one here. Regardless, it's screwed. not going to matter. It's all right. Okay. Okay. I'll move out. Oh. And then whose turn is it next? It would be yours. Hmm. That ain't good. If I'm gonna choose this open, I to can not. Move I'm gonna choose way. to not move. Okay. That's my plan. And I am back to the tile. That's fine. Okay. Well, I want Max to trigger both of these. That way, the only person that's gonna get hit is hopefully nobody, yeah. and then this over here will just. Maybe I'll be gone by then. Yeah, yeah that's also yeah. true. I can't. I can't move. We're running out of tiles, though, guys. Yeah. You can choose to not move. And then you don't have any nerve left. No, I already have two nerves. And you don't have any, so you don't have any more nerve you can obtain. Yeah, but you still only just... You could move into up. here, though, but it would just hurt you and Max, is the thing. But you do... Oh, you may stay, but don't gain... Yeah. Okay. So would you like to stay? Do I still have to discard? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I think it's better, because if I move, okay. it's going to hit more of us. Callie, you're up. Okay. I will move this way so that gets triggered the one in the corner what does oh it that does triggers. yeah it does she's yes. on the line I'm sorry so I get hit twice going back to lights out no, you, hit, you once. hit once only once well yeah this one I yeah. get hit from lights out where were you do before there okay. or sorry there yeah why does she oh because it's on the line yeah. okay yeah so we will lose three tiles I think we're still we okay. Lost, uh, two oh, monsters. I can, I can block yes. it. No, it's not me. You don't, it's yeah, not you. it's not you. Okay. All right, and then you're going to illuminate Kali one space. Yes. What's that? No, now I am lights out, though, because I got hit. Why is that there? This was the original one. Oh, you so went lights Kali out. Moved. Everything goes away. Everything gets removed. Everything. Right. But also, that would go anyway because it attacked. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. Ooh, we got rid of a monster for free. But... Now I'm also relit because Josh is adjacent, is adjacent to, me. to me. So monsters will leave as well? That lights out? Everything yeah, tile -wise. everything adjacent. Right, but I would usually... My assumption would be that actually monsters stay. Because... You can't see them anymore, that though. That helps them. Remove all tiles that you had been illuminating unless they are still lit by another player with a lit candle. Nobody's okay. lighting the monsters, so we get rid of that for free. So, all right, cool. Yeah, but I am... Now relit because I'm I like him. To Josh, so I need three tiles. Yeah. It's a big heavy hit, but. Put that in the corner. About there, I guess. Yeah. Because at most, you're only going to hit me with the monster anyway, so, okay. No, I'm putting this here. I hit everybody. No, you don't. No. Wall. Line. Wall. Oh, wall. So, yeah. Okay, um. my turn? Yes. I'm going to spend a nerve, and I'm just going to move myself there. Oh, so move and nerve to move again? Twice. Yes. Okay. So I move once, use my nerve, move again. Okay. Now, when I move twice, do I illuminate everything in my path? I mean, there's nothing to illuminate here, but I would imagine you would illuminate. Move, illuminate, yeah, move. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. And I'm just going to put that there. You move and one that's at it. a time. Okay. Sorry, Max, you're going to hit again, but I'm going to nope. move off. And you're also going this. this yeah. Way. Did you have any nerve mat? Uh, no, I didn't. So we will lose oh, three. Key. Six, one, half you dozen, lost of a another. monster and a key. Okay. I'm going to spend the nerve to move again. Okay. And you gather a key. Oh, lights out, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so while he was lights out then, actually while I was here, technically I do put something there. So I need one. But then I'm going to move again, which means that goes away. Mm -hmm. This flips over. You yeah. Choose. I get a key. And, and we all have keys. 
I'm going to spend another nerve because why not and speed this up. Moving to the middle area. Okay. Yeah, right yeah no more. We don't have to do things. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's going to be this, so fingers crossed that's not a monster. But and yeah, that goes. This one goes. Big money, big money, big money. Stop. Whoo. Okay. All right. And cool. I'm illuminating these two areas here. Yeah. Uh, this one we're good. I have to illuminate as well. Mm. Gotta check and make sure everything. Perfect. Okay. Josh has got his. Yep. You've got yours. And we're good. Max. And this one over here should be gone too, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And this one over it. here should be gone as well. Mm -hmm. We got this stuff. Everybody get home. We're good. Okay. That was your turn, right, Josh? Yep. Okay. My Everybody turn. converts on mic. Yeah, I'm going to go here. Oh, yeah, because you can't go in the middle. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. That one will go. Yep. On my turn, I'm going to... Come on across. Yeah. Come straight across. No new reveals. No, no, no. no, no, no. Put that back. <laughs> Mike still has it. Oh, this can go. This stays. And, and you, you get are illuminated, so you get two more. One. Two. Cool. Cool. All the keys. <laughs> My turn. I will uh, skip. Yeah. This is going to go. Josh. No. Oh, I'm going to be in your way. Sorry, Callie. It's okay. She has a nerve, though. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I can use it. Uh, oh, I don't. Next okay. Time. Callie, would I'll you like to just I'll spend a nerve? Stay. Oh. Or, I mean, gain a nerve? Yeah, I'll gain a nerve. Flip. Next turn, you can this do is two. a gate. We don't care. Good to go. All right, Max. Oh, that's gone. I will move into the gate location to join Mike. Okay. And this key goes away. Yep. Mike. I pass. will pass, losing one of these, and getting a nerve. I will move here. Done. I will move and move again with my nerve. We did it. Great. Success. Now, is that all we need to do? Is we each all here at the gate? We, we each have, have our each keys. Put in our keys and go one, two, three. Turn. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's a specific order we needed to do it in or like no numerical no, pattern or. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Okay, the doorway is illuminated. On who has to do their click first. Hooray! Right. <laughs> that would be rough. We did it. So now we can give a uh, kind of our perspective on both of those and what we'd figured out <laughs> during mm -hmm. our, our learning playthrough <laughs> or to figure out how to defeat the night cage. One more thing too, this is actually just the base game. Uh, there are additional uh, advanced tiles that you can add in. So there's different monsters you can add in. There's different variations. Um, one that uses sort of some of the different tiles that the game comes with as well so this is just kind of the starting point of, of figuring out how how it all works what do you think jack i really like <laughs> it um i do like cooperative you know, play games like this um comes to mind is like a ghost story forbidden desert forbidden island mm -hmm. stuff like that mm -hmm. um this one it's not so much about resource control like i thought of you know trying to you know gather the keys and everything else together we actually kind of want to stay reasonably close but not too close because then the monsters can just ruin your day. They can smack multiple people and just decimate the candle stack. So, um, overall, it was more challenging than I thought it would be the first game because we also got a little bit unlucky with when we drew our keys. But mm -hmm. um, definitely very approachable, uh, good family game, even though it's a little bit dark thematically. Yeah. Um, a little bit spooky, <laughs> but good for Halloween. So. Not too uh, spooky, I think. Yeah. Not too much tension. It's like, oh, is there going to be a monster around the corner? Mm -hmm. Um and then we, there is kind of, we're kind of figuring out that balance between how far apart do we get, go from each yeah. other, how close do we stay, right? And that was a lot of our strategic discussion was kind of around that. Mm -hmm. The night cage is a bit of a mix of strategy and luck. You yeah. may or may not get the tiles you need when you need them. And if that happens, it's likely you're going to lose. So if you don't like games that involve quite a bit of luck, you're not going to like this game. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, when you get five monsters in a row, it's uh, extremely costly, especially if mm. you're kind of all bundled up. But if you're also too far apart from each other, trying to avoid that aspect, then you're going to lose a bunch of tiles it'll moving still, around the board. It'll still hurt mm -hmm. you, yep. <laughs> um, so there's going to be like better uh, situations based on the tiles and worse. And so you, uh, it's all about trying to mitigate the amount of luck as best as you can in how you approach moving around the board. 
Um, and when to choose to actually fall into the pit yeah, with darkness that and was be not falling as through much darkness. Of a well, that's why yeah. I thought when you were doing that originally in the first turn, I'm like, wait, maybe it's best to just not move in this situation. What happens? Don't trigger the monster. Okay, yeah. yes. Uh, a lot of times not moving is actually a fairly good option. And I think that uh, a lot of follow the leader in this game is, is, is needed. It's very dark, yeah. high, high quality components. I enjoy all of that. Uh, the Actually, in the uh, BBG... Or, Board game BGG, BGG, BGG. BGG yeah. Uh, they have really cool little skeleton monsters that are holding candles, Ooh. and I would like that. They're like little luxified pieces. I don't know how you get them. Maybe it's just the Kickstarter, but that would be my preferred um, over the candles. But they were easy to see and easy to move around, mm-hmm. and uh, the theme of the game worked pretty well. There was suspense and tension, mm. and if you like a horror game that is simple to uh, learn, it's going to be good. Uh, there's a few issues that I have with timing in the game, as far as whether or not you're going to be able to. Uh, when you do stuff, uh, stuff or how not. it triggers, and what's the priority. And I think that could be better explained in the rules. Uh, I think it's a good entry level for co-op, though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And if you like tile placement, this is and a like, good yeah. choice. Oh, yeah. Forbidden uh, Desert and Island, they're similar to that with the tile placement and all of that. I don't feel like Things there's... going away, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't feel like there's any alpha gamers as well in this. You get to make your own choices, and people kind of yeah. give you like suggestions. Mm-hmm. And sometimes tile placement doesn't matter as much. Like, at the end of the game, we're just putting tiles down because we have a specific path that we want to go. So mm-hmm. it all plays a role. But overall, it's a very solid horror game. It's something that mm-hmm. I'll be keeping for sure. And I know that people are going to want to play this during uh, Halloween especially with new gamers oh, yeah. i really like the candle <laughs> here because it goes with the theme normally this sort That's of thing creative. might be kind of like oh, okay well you just have the, them as a stack right but this it actually the works thematically because yeah you're, you're losing wax as the candle burns down so it makes sense mm-hmm. so i'm glad that they Great did that. that actually <laughs> and even when winning where this game so this, this round felt a little easier than the previous one we still, we still only had we had. We did seven. intentionally a burn a lot. Of we only had a few of monsters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We got of lucky. the ten. Oh, um. Yeah. I mean, we, we burned a lot of them, but they didn't hit as many. Yeah, yeah they okay, hit maybe. me several times, but I mean, I kept myself a little further away. But and close not as much to in line one person. Not as much yeah. in line with the rest of you, which did come in handy quite a bit because I was taking the damage. Yeah, I'm burning through the wax a little bit faster, but it we kept you guys keys, though, safer. So we didn't care if we burned it. Yeah. It's almost as good of a horror game as Moonshell. It's close. Moonshell's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. not a horror game. Yeah. I don't know. You're, you're full of water. All right, Dark, well. Dark Mermaid. If I you're guess. interested in picking out the game, there's a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and at least sign up to get it, and it should be available soon if it's not already. It's going to be, yep, available soon. Unless you're watching this a year Sorry. from now. <laughs> it'll be available now. Up to, up to when you watched yep, it. Yep, yep. Mm. <laughs> Finish us up, Callie. All right. That was The Night Cage by uh, smirk and dagger thank you guys so much for watching check out our other videos here on youtube and subscribe please hit that bell notification so you can uh see all of our videos pop up in your news feed and go ahead and like the video if you got this far i mean i think you liked it right <laughs> and uh, i think we're entertaining yeah yeah check out our website unfilteredgamer.com for tons of more reviews as well as giveaways going on we'll give away some games on there Got one going on right now, I believe, still. And that's all I got. Thank you so much, Josh, Max, Michael, for playing with us. And as always, we look forward to seeing you guys guys next next time. time. Bye. All right, we got the top-down view now. Can see sort of what the game board looks like. It's a big grid. We've got our keys over here, which we will be trying to obtain. We've got Nerve, which is an extra resource that we have, and everyone has a player card as well. They'll say what you can do on your turn, and um, you can use Nerve for special abilities as well. So kind of use it as a resource to do extra things. And then on the other side, if your lights go out, you'll flip your card to the other side. And that explains um, what What you can do there. Yeah. So everyone has a starting tile, their player card, one nerve token. We all start with one nerve token and your candle token, which represents your position on the board. In addition to the board here, we have this sideboard, which is all the discard. 
and this discard will be discarding face up so that we can kind of keep track of what's there and what's still available in the game. And on our tile rack here, these are all of the tiles that we'll be pulling from. And these were the ones set aside. So these, these are the starting, the starting opening hand, basically. So it shows the tile. candle burning down as you take the tiles. That's yes, cool. exactly. That's, and pretty that, that's pretty neat how they um, fit that thematically into the game. Makes mm. sense. <laughs> On everyone's first turn, they're just going to choose a open spot on the grid and um, there, you'll place your starting tile on there so that any any direction that you'd like and place your token on there you talking away from the game? like that okay so now you have there's two exits you'll draw a tile from the tile holder and flip it face oh, up I, sorry i thought we were all placing no, you can go them. first oh okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah i totally thought we were all just placing it's the tiles a, to start it's okay yeah um and then orient it however you'd like Okay. So shoot, pick one, one oh. first, one at a time. And then, yes, orient okay. it. Okay. So they do bleed off the edge to the other side. Oh. So you okay. can keep going that way. Uh, and then do, like it this, do the same for the other open area. Okay. That's basically what your candle is able to illuminate right now. And you okay. can see the starting tiles have the little crumbled edge around them. So it's that going to go means, away. Yes, <laughs> it's going to go away um, on after you've moved out of it. Oh, so I'm immediately going to lose two tiles and then place two more if I move. Yep, that's all right. Okay. I'll go next. Um, I'll hmm. go... So I could actually go... here and that will keep that tile if you go the other way and then I will draw one do you only illuminate tie uh, the areas in which they're connected so for instance if I placed it like this and you were not there and I moved uh, or, and I was here would this go away because it's not connected or is it, it just goes away it? it goes away when it's no longer illuminated Right. Does, do I need to have a tunnel that can oh. connect in order for it to illuminate? Yes. Okay. But since it's we're illuminating, it would still be there. Right, I know, but yeah. that was my okay. question. Okay. So here we got this one, which a is a crumbling one. one. Now, what does crumbling mean? Crumbling means the turn after you've moved onto it, it will disappear. Irre regardless of if it's yes. illuminated. Yes, and if you're not. still on it again, then you fall somewhere. Yeah, you're going and to so fall into the these pit. These are crumbling as well okay. so on our turn we're going to have to move and we don't want to fall in the pit correct if we do, i mean we... we you can it it says there are strategic reasons you could fall it says in the rule book hmm. well since everyone's starting up in that corner i'm gonna give us a little bit of spacing can i get two of the tiles please one first no you did choose no, you flip, flip it, it and choose no. where you because no. it has to connect He's got two of the same. All right. Michael, you were up. Now, how many spaces can we move? One. Um, per turn, I'm guessing. Yeah, move one space. Move we're one space along any anymore. path. Yep. And our main our goal well. is to avoid discarding too many tiles. Yes. Because we're burning our candle. So this would be a decent play then. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I figured you were either going to do that or do it on the other side, but having both of us on each end in yeah, pairs... Another important set. thing to note is no uh, no more than one person can be on any tile. So the only okay. exception to that is the gate tile, which we'll use at the end to escape. Our and our objective together. is to each get a key mm -hmm. and then get to from a, a gate. From a key no, tile. accumulate together on the gate. Yes, I think we all have to be on the... The gate together. You can only escape the night cage through a gate. Gate tiles are drawn in place like any other tile. The gate is the only tile in the game that can be occupied by multiple prisoners at the same time. To win, all prisoners must gather on the same gate at the same time with their keys in hand to escape. Okay. Can okay. one same person gate. collect multiple keys? No. Nope. Okay. Only one key. So I'm done you now, right? get one key and that's yep. it. Yep. Uh, so it's Josh's turn. You can pass the keys, however, but okay. that player has to not have a key. But if we find a gate early on... It means we probably want to keep somebody there to make sure the gate doesn't disappear there. We only need so one gate. Right? Yeah, there's four in the. We only need yeah. one. Yeah, there's four. 
Okay, I'm gonna move one space, which means this is going to crumble. Yep. The uh, discards are over there. And uh, mine. Yeah. Oh, do I draw for the space I just left? So everything around you will be illuminated. Let me make sure about the. If this one goes r right away or at the end of your turn. Okay. Crumbling tiles collapse into pits the turn after you step on them. If you decide to move, it collapses as you scramble onto the next tile. Okay. Yep. Okay, that's right. So you're going to illuminate everything around you, which will include this one. Okay. Okay. And that's it, right? What yeah. if you get a tile that can't fit? Like if I had a four-way tile right there. Because I wouldn't be able to place it. You know, there's no connector. That here. one's fine. This would be like a wall then, okay. basically. Okay. Uh, all right. I, my turn. So I'm definitely going to move. Do I want to move away from Josh or I'll lose two tiles? I mean, that one's crumbling anyway. Yeah, you have to move. Well, yeah, but here or here. Uh, if you move to the adjacent to your right, that won't crumble instantly, will it? No, next turn. it'll be next turn. Next turn. When you I won't off. be able okay. to move on to it. Or the turn after if you stay there. Mm -hmm. But what's nice is I'll only draw one tile if I go here. Okay. Well, I mean, we won't, I guess. For now, we can, we can go through tiles. So this is going to crumble. You keep wanting to take it and put it over on your side of the field. Okay. Um, and oh no! Okay, wax eater. Okay, so the wax monster. How the monster works? The wax eaters roam the labyrinth, and once they're placed, they're motion sensitive. They will attack any time a prisoner moves along, into, or out of a pathway connected to them in a straight line. So he can see down here, and he can see down here. Uh, they can attack in all four directions simultaneously as far as they can reach down an uninterrupted pathway. Okay, and then monsters are triggered to attack when a prisoner moves within their line of sight by falling into one and or in a chain reaction. So. Right now, I'm not moving, so it's not going to attack yet. But yeah, next turn, it's going yes, to. Yes, yes. And then we'll see. We'll see how that shakes out. Well, thankfully, that tunnel is going to collapse afterwards, so we won't be able to continue mm -hmm. to chase you. Well, and actually, this because I moved here, this is no longer illuminated. Oh, so, so that goes, goes away. away. And so he actually can't go down this way. Okay. All right, my turn. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to move there. This will disappear. Two tiles, please. Do you place on the other side? Um, yes, because it wraps around. Okay. So that means actually you place over here. Or there. Well, as, as well. He gets three. You yeah. choose the space. Oh, I forgot about the, the strength faces to crumble. So that will no. actually go over here. Yes. That can't attach like that. Oh. Yeah. You have to be able to walk. Onto the or pathway. Do it like this. Yeah, do it like that so that way it gives a little more branching. Hmm. Okay. Well, I have no choice but to go this way. Mm -hmm. This will die. And Wish. I will gather. Uh, so I get one on that side, one on this side, and one on my left. Oh, hopefully. So I've seen a whole lot of. Tunnels, but yes. nothing else. Yeah. Wait, that's a gate, huh? Oh, yeah. actually, yeah. Need that. This is the gate. One of them. Okay, that's it. And we might make end up sure leaving that. nothing else was lost. Okay, no, you good. good. All right, Josh, you're up. So the objective, very simply, yeah. is each of us gets to a you. key area, and then gathers a key, and then gets to a gate. That's it, right? Mm-hmm. No, oh, another yeah. monster. Okay, and then this is no longer illuminated. Now, if a monster is not illuminated, and does it go away? No longer. Correct. Okay. Um, Except that when I move next turn, it'll trigger and attack me, won't it? Or does the collapsing floor, floor stop yeah, first? Yeah, let me... Oh. 
The monster doesn't actually move. It just triggers. It reaches out. Yeah. So it, what happens is, it, is the it, wax monster triggers an attack as you move in the line of sight. And then, because it's no longer illuminated, it goes away. And the floor crumbles. Yeah. So the penalty of the monster hitting as well is we're going to discard three tiles. Oof. Yes. And we'll be able to see what they are. Oh, the we one lost gate. a gate. Two oh, tiles. No. Well, tiles. The, tile, the tiles are okay. Those, these aren't as That's important. That's fine. Yeah. They don't the provide gate anything. and the keys. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We, do, we have to all get to the same gate too, right? Or Correct. is it just any gate? Same gate. And now I'm going to draw two tiles to illuminate. Wait, is no, still, lights out. Yeah. I don't have any. Um, so when the, no you're light. lighted out, um, you don't get to see anything around. You're basically moving blind. Is there and, a way to relight the candle? And how do we get nerve? Nerve is stay if you still. stay in the same spot, you can get a, a nerve token. Okay. Um, so you don't have to move that if you don't want to. You don't have to move. What's the penalty gets, for not moving? Sometimes, if you're on a crumbling tile, then you'll fall into the pit. Okay. If someone reveals a monster near you, then you may be in the line of sight. Okay. Cool. All right. right. Next turn. Let's so go. One second. I'm going to see. Oh, if you block a monster attack, relight. does that still go lights out? You block. So, mm -hmm. I have to move. I need to find someone else, basically. Oh, to relight your candle. Yes. Okay. Oh, you can't move at all now. Or... I can't. I have to keep moving, but it's blind movement. Oh, is that the same for Josh as well, or no? Not yet. Not yet. It's about to be. And the only reason it is for you is because? The wax monster hit her. I'm lights out. I got hit by the wax. Okay, um... so when you get hit by a monster, you flip it over, yeah. and now you move blind. Mm -hmm. And the only way to move un to become um, back to normal... Is to find somebody else with a lit candle and relight your candle. Okay. But, yeah, and remember, you, you can use your nerve to I'm saying, yeah, if you block, something. and you have to move adjacent to a person with a lit candle in order to relight your candle. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you can't move on the same space. Yeah. So, question so to my turn then. Um, you can spend one nerve to move again or take, take an extra action, including block. If I move away from the wax monster next to me, and then use my nerve to block, I'll uh, only lose two tiles instead of three. But do I also get to keep my candle lit? If I block. So you're still going to go lights out, I think. Yep. It would say otherwise on block. Okay. It should say, actually, that you still do go lights out, just to be clear. Because I, I think, figure if I'm I think blocking it's, it. if it doesn't say it, it, do, it, it doesn't okay. happen. Uh, Max, it changed. Weren't you going to be moving just blindly? She, no, she got to move. She, oh, yeah. okay. And you can't yeah. flip over tiles. Oh, you can only do one at a time now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be moving blindly because I have no candle. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to be moving here, which removes... Nope, but that stays there. Why would this one stay here? Because it's adjacent oh, it's to you. Yeah, sorry. Lit. You lose this one. That one goes. Alright, so I need two tiles. Okay. How many nerves can I have? Two total. Two. I have to discard a tile, this one here. Right. Yeah. All right. Okay. What is a final flicker? Hmm? That is at the end of the game when we're out of tiles. Okay. Your turn, Josh. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to. That gets... so I'll move here. I'm going to spend my nerve to block, so I only lose two tiles instead of three. That will crumble. I obviously already got hit, but then that disappears. And we lost a monster and a regular tunnel. That's pretty good. Good. All right. How many Nine. monsters are there total, you know? Ten. Oh, oh my god. But I am lights out now. Now Kelly and I both have to get to you two. Okay, I am lights out. I am moving blindly into this spot. Let's see what it is. And we're we, we can go across the board, too, so. Yeah. And the reason why you don't want to, what I've gathered, take just not move and take nerve is because discarding a tile, which could in fact be something like you want. And then this is going to crumble. 
How many key tiles are there? Seven. And you okay. can only, each one of us can only use a key tile once, correct? Because it crumbles, yeah. Oh, they crumble, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so for my turn, I'm going to move that way. This one goes. Now you do this one back there. Yep. That one goes too. You want to turn that more so you can go this way so I can get to you faster. Ah, good point. No, you still want Callie to get to you too, though. So actually, I would have well, to tee towards well, you. I'm probably going to go meet yeah, up with Michael. Meet, meet okay. with me. All you should do is you have to just walk next to me, right? Like mm -hmm. right there, and you'll just turn. Should I just not move then? Um, we can only have two nerve token, though. Oh, okay. It's who's the limit? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, my turn then? Mm -hmm. So I can move next to you if you want, but I'd lose all these tiles here. Do we want to keep them for any reason? I don't see why. They're not keys. I yeah, guess. they don't help us. So. so I can move there. These all disappear except for this one. Mm -hmm. Those are basic. This is going to convert to another gate. Oh. I don't know the answer to this one. Here? Here? I don't either. And then one more. Well, Ooh. doesn't yeah. make a difference, I guess. This crumbles, though, so I might as well have it connected just in case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you are back in the game, Yay, right? I am. Lights are back on. That way you can now choose to go in any of these directions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that means the search light up now. Oh, I don't know if it lights. Sorry, one second. I don't know if it lights up now or on my turn. Yeah, it happens now. So okay. my candle is relit now, and we will reveal. Okay, same same tile. <laughs> okay, we bring a lot of tiles. We've not found any keys yet. Mm -hmm. We've lost, or we have three gates out, so we have to keep one at least, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would recommend it. All right. All right. So Josh needs a light. Well, if we lose all four gates, we lose the game. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go there. Yep. These two will go away. And Fingers one crossed. Tile. Okay. So do you suggest that I just move here since he's now here? So you light up a few things. Yeah. Uh, oh, this go goes away, though, this, this, it's That will go not, away. This good. goes away. Well, the, the connector there will go away because Max can't see that. Yeah, so. it's a wall blocking this one. Oh, that's fine. But you get to light up a few things. Keep mind you over here, too. And over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I'll do this. So that way, hopefully, if I get go here, mm -hmm. then we can keep that connected, maybe. You can reach and the one side. down there too. Mm -hmm. Okay. No keys. Wow. It's actually pretty oh, convenient. There's seven keys in here, and we've got none so far. Uh, it's pretty wow. convenient with the gate being right there in the corner. You can keep going on and off that gate, and then it stays lit. Yeah, yeah, keep it lit. But then as soon as you go back to it, you reveal three more rooms every time. Three or two, yeah, depending. Three. All right, you're up, Josh. I'm going blindly towards Max. Fingers crossed. A key. Nice. Yay. Don't mind if I do. Okay. And then when you so get there, away. you just get... Why is it going? I got a key. No, oh, that one's not crumbled. Because I'm doesn't... unlit. Oh. Yeah. I'm lights out. Oh, so you can't illuminate tiles okay. next to you either? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Okay. I have my key. But this one's illuminated by Max, so yeah. be safe there. I'm done. Yeah, I'm going to relight <laughs> Josh on my next turn. He can make a run for the game. Go ahead, Kelly. Yeah. I just... Do we need to try to keep the gate? I mean, I'm doing that right now. You are, yeah, okay. I'll probably just go back and forth between the gates. Mm -hmm. yeah, until three. you'll need to go and get a key eventually. Well, they'll be adjacent to the gates, at least yeah. one of them. So. Yeah, there's no, there's no reason that I'll I might need to go here. all the way over here for any reason at this point. Mm -hmm. and... Especially since the keys crumble. And the 
rooms always go away. Yeah. So it's not like you have to spread out to create this new rooms. This goes away too, doesn't it? You can stay in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah, no one. Did. You're not eliminating it anymore. Okay. And one more. Thank you. Oh. Over here? Yeah. All right. You're up, Max. All right. Yeah, we actually don't need to go very far here, because rooms can disappear. One, so. This one crumble. I can go away. So crumble by accident. I light back up. Josh relights. Thank Yay. you, sir. Can I get two tiles, please? Uh, then I'm going to get two after you, so hopefully we can find some more keys. And I found a gate. <sighs> oh. Now we have to keep a gate going. <laughs> okay. And I'll put that there. Come on, key. <sighs> No key yet. Okay. And as soon as you illuminate, you you as soon as you light up, you just illuminate everything again, right? Mm, yes. Okay. Oh, I am lit up. I know. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Oh, is yes. Once he lights you. Yeah. Or vice versa, then you just illuminate all around you. Okay. Yeah, you don't need to wait Callie, your turn. Mm -hmm. No, you are up. Oh, oh, my turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going to do this. I'll move here. This will go, and this will go. They're not useful. And mm -hmm. that one in the corner goes. Yep. Yep. And this is going to go there here. There you go. Whoa. And this one will go here. And I'm done. Yeah. Trying to protect the, I'm the gatekeeper. I can go over there and do that now. So, yeah. This is going to take me a couple turns to get there. It is your move, Josh. Um, yeah, I might as well. You already have. Way. So remember, we can't go on the same spot. Someone As each other on. until we get to the gate, yeah. We, so. can go, we can all go on the same gate. Oh, only at the end of the game. No, we can go on the same gate beforehand. Good. That's keep the going. only we'll time we're going, allowed sure. to. Okay. Hey, cool. I'll make it easier for whatever. Well, yeah, the gate the is the only tile oh, no, that can be off. occupied yeah. by multiple players. So a gate can be occupied by multiple players at any time during the game. It sounds like that. Okay. Okay. And if you guys want the key, you can come and take it. I'm going to move that way to then just keep the gates up since I have my key. Okay, I don't want to go too far either, but... Can't we have to be careful too because of way. monsters, right? Yeah. There's ten of them. And we so, have yeah. More, and we don't want the monsters to be too close. So we might not be able I, to Yeah, them. I would head back towards the gates and then let's just trigger... Trigger new rooms around the gates so that way we don't have far to go. That's what I've been doing. Yeah. Okay. So if I... I'm not going to trigger any rooms here. Yeah, that's, that's a fine. safe bet. That's, yeah, that means you not burning the candle anything. either. Yeah. Okay. Go right there. Yeah. Go right. ahead, Max. This one's going to go. All right. For my turn, I am going to move back here. So this piece will go. Josh, can I get two tiles, please? By all means. Oof, we're getting low. I'm worried about the monsters too. All right, Mike, here go. Should I let you guys have the key? Does it matter? Well, if, if you move away, we'll lose that other gate though, and that gate's a key position for opening up all the tiles. Only issue though is I'm going to have to do something like Monster. this and something like this. But you have us, you have us around you to be able to, uh, and something like that. Oh no. I mean, the good news is once I move off that space, I can get we can get rid of two monsters. And, yeah, one oh. will hit you, but then you can immediately be relit by Callie. So, yeah, actually, well, yeah, I'm it's done. Problem. Oh, Callie, does this see you on this line though? No, there's no connecting path. Yes, yes there, is. there is. Yes, there is. Yes. So line, 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 line. Yes, as soon as I move, it will. What if you move attack. off that line? It'll so every time somebody moves on or off the line, it attacks and hits everybody. So if I move out of line of sight, it's just going to attack Michael. And then on my next turn, it'll attack me as well. No, it'll be gone. But it only attacks w once? Mm -hmm. Why? But if there are multiple people here, like say uh, Zach was, or sorry, sorry, Max was here too, then it would hit both of you. Right. What I'm saying though is when a monster oh, it only attacks, gets one attack. it goes away afterwards. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I move That's this so way, bad. it would attack me as well. Right. No, I, okay. okay. I got That's that. not so bad. Yeah, if you got to keep attacking until we found some way to make sure that room was not illuminated, that'd be a pain. 
Now the good question. Um, well, we'll move. So it's Take Josh's a... turn. You just don't want to move into the path of the moth. Any. No, I don't care. Monster. I'll move here. So it's... you're in the path of this monster. Uh, well, It'll attack. Me and you. Mm-hmm. Oh, why, why him? He's not on the same line. It looks, I'm right yeah, it's here. connected. No, oh, I thought okay, same so line. So okay. it's both ways. Gotcha. He attacks everything that he can see. So if I move off this line, you're still going to attack like mine? Me. Yes. So I, I can't help it then. You mm-hmm. can, you can, do, we do take less damage. Yeah. Two, three plus three equals six. Yeah. You moving off is three instead. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to take 12 damage if we yeah. can avoid it. Mm-hmm. Especially if you're running out of keys. Okay, okay. so you move there. So it triggers. The monster attacks Michael. I'll block it. Cool. Number two, the nerve. We lost the monster. monster. Nice. Okay. Now this one will go away, and this one, and Michael is lights out. Uh, Kelly, that one will stay because you're lit. Oh, I'm lighting it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I gotta hope we don't get a key over here though, because then you all have a lot further to go. And a monster. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> okay. Your turn? Yes. I will go here. The monster activates. Activates again. Can I block it? Block again? No, No. because you're not being attacked. Okay. A nerve. We lost two of these. Okay. And then this is gone, and the monster is gone. Cool beans. If I move, sorry, if I move off the line of the monster that's Wait, next to me. Michael's light out, lights out, right? Yes. Oh, okay, that so goes away. Gone. Dang it. No, wait, no, it's still, yeah, it is. It's yep. gone. Okay. So is that. Now, if I move off this line, will the monster hit me before I go offline? Like, if I move here. No, still, you okay. move and then the monster attacks. We'll just go away. Okay. Okay. Whose turn? Yeah, mine then, yeah, because you just moved. Max. I know. Oh, it's my turn? Who triggered yeah. the, yeah. I just moved. Okay. Okay. Like, I haven't done anything yet. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah, you moved, but you didn't. I will so. pick up the key. My key. Key, please. Oh. These are no longer illuminated. There you go. Got ourselves another key. And a four-way. Hell yeah. Okay. My turn? Yep. Now, if I move here, I become illuminated, or would I? we lose the, that first? Oh, that's a good question. No, because as soon as you I'm move, move oh, Kelly. As soon as you move, you're immediately illuminated. You're relighted. So uh, that would stay in place then. I wouldn't I think, lose yes, it. Yes, yes. It says that happens immediately. Okay. Key. Two tiles. Now we just need a key for Callie and we're good. Oh, crumble, crumble. All right. Okay. You guys still have to make an way to us, yeah. Yeah. This will go. Mm-hmm. This will go. Yeah. That was still there. Yeah. <sighs> At least it's only me. Oh, and yeah, Callie. good. It's not connected to me. Yep. Uh-huh. Your turn. Uh-huh. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you two in the keys, you have to move now. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll go this way. Illuminate here. This will go? Yeah. Let's see. That's uh, not a key. No. You sure you're going to do that? Why? Because it's, if you move into that area, this is going to illuminate. We probably don't want to start going across the map, especially if that's a key. Okay. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's yeah. Probably better to have it here. Yeah, we're running out of time. The same number of spaces. We are away. really running out of time. <laughs> All right. Go, Max. Yeah. It's going to go yeah. right there. That's going to illuminate on the other side. Yeah, that crumbles. This should be a. Uh, Another key over here, shouldn't there? Nope. Because Josh got rid of it. Oh, Josh has it over there. Oh, oh that's yeah. bad. Okay. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> oh. 
go. Oh, is that another key right here? Yeah, yes. another so key. I'll be able out. to get that so one. Callie can get her key. How can you get that one? I'll go this way. Oh. Okay, so it's my turn? Mm hmm. So I'm just going to move here, and these are going to go. Mm hmm. Please get rid of those. And then I get one. Ooh, will I tell? I can choose the order I play them yes, in, right? Yes. So you look at them one at a time, okay, and then choose where they go. Hmm. And Blue already has a key. Everybody does, except for Kelly. And that tile is crumbled as well. Oh, now that that one's gone, does Max put something for the other room? This one here? Yeah. He does, doesn't yes. he? Yes, yeah. <sighs> These monsters are going to kill us. All right, that's it. Okay. As much as I want to move to... Oh. And now I the real move, timer. Yeah, I can move <laughs> and... If I move at all, two of them are going to trigger. I can move off of a space. Because I can't block anything anymore. I could stay here. Oh, I can stay here and actually build up nerve to block. Yeah, that honestly might be your best course of I'm action. Gonna, yeah. Um, I'm gonna stay and gain nerve. One second. So it sounds like, I guess you can avoid it by not moving, but someone else is bound to trigger it, and then it's going to definitely hit you because you're and in line. Even, yeah, even if I then build up the them. nerve to block, it's going to net the same discard anyway because I have to discard a tile to gain the nerve and then discard the nerve to discard two instead of three, so the net is the same. And if I move to that tile... I'm going to have to place more tiles. Three, yeah. All right, well, take a guess. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Because we can't afford to place the tiles and do the other. Do you have any nerve? I've got you one. You do. I have one. It's not going to hit you. Out. You have yeah. no nerve. I used all mine for blocks. I'm going to move off this one, so this one will trigger. All three will trigger, then. I can't think of a way that we get around any of it. Yeah, well, because if I move here, this will, you know, two of them will activate. That one won't hit, mm -hmm. but that one will hit by both Max and I, and then I have to place three more. Yep. Yeah, I think you made the safe bet right there. All right, let's do Max it. Max can okay. least, okay, yeah, so this so goes this away. This one will go first. Mm -hmm. Oh, I figured this one activates, goes away. Oh. Okay. This is going to fade away, it won't matter. So this one activates, hits both of us. I will use one nerve to block. Okay, so, so five. Five tiles. And the other one's gonna hit too, won't it? Yeah, all three of you. I think, yeah, we We're might be screwed. Yep. One, two, three, four, and five. And then the next one's gonna hit all three of us. That's gonna take all the tiles out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we literally just ran so out. There's no way to do it. When tiles run out, what happens? Then we are in sort of the end phase, which is final flickers. Okay. So we lose all of our tiles. So we move so, on. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. Because that one's there. It's going to oh. do five, and the other one's going to do oh, three, six, okay. nine. Got it. So they're all gone. Okay. Okay, and he's going to go. Thankfully, we have a key for Callie. And go ahead and place those in the discard pile. And what's Final Flicker? Okay. Final Flicker starts immediately at the end of the turn of the prisoner who drew the last tile from the draw stack. stack. So that's Josh. Um, from that moment forward, at the end of every prisoner's turn, after removing tiles that are no longer illuminated, you must also remove one additional tile from anywhere on the board. Okay. Oh. It can be a monster. Uh, I think we're good. The encroaching darkness may isolate a prisoner as they find themselves cut off and unable to bring their key to the gate with the others. So remember... But we choose what to remove, right? We, we're missing... None of you guys are... You guys are all lights out. Yeah, so okay. this tile, this tile, and this tile are all gone. Oh. Both of these keys are gone. And actually, that's all it, then. of the keys are gone. Yeah, that's so it, then. there goes. Oh. So is the monster. So I can't get a key. So game. So we lose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Exploded. Those monsters, yeah, those monsters ruin you. <laughs> when we get three at the end there, yeah. Yeah, we there were was close. a whole bunch of them. Yeah, we were uh -huh, close. Uh-huh. 